Welcome to FreeCAD new sessions. In this session we will model this tray and we will learn the surface tools in FreeCAD. I will show you from the scratch how to model this tray with the help of a part workbench surface tool. So let's start. So first I will create a new file and uh, I will create a body and I will on my plane. Now I will select this exit plane and create the sketch. Now I will off my origin plane. Now I will select the two points. One here and one here. And our total tray length is a 98. The 98. Give one more dimension 98 divided by 2. Now we will select this uh, sp B spy line. Now I will draw a curve. Now we will constrain it. Now we will give the dimensions. Select this point and this point 7. This point to this point 7. This is also 7. So all the po between point to point distance is 7. say ok this one to this one 7 so this is this is we are making the curve profile of our tray so this and this is also 7 from here to here also 7 7 and so this will be over defined because we have already defined the end point now we have defined the horizontal position now we will define the vertical position um, so to select this vertical dimension 4 mm now select this point this point horizontal constraint horizontal 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 and horizontal now our spy line is uh, not fully constrained because this is the unfix so I will select the center point and I will make a coincidence constraint same way for this point this one also so our spy line is a fully constrained now I will come out of the sketch 
so this is the curve profile of our tray now we will switch to the part workbench and here part workbench we will select our sketch and click on this extrude tools and we will give the our dimension 24 we will give our dimension 24 against and along and we will say apply so you can see that a surface has been created here now we will make our next feature now we will again move to the part design workbench I will on my plane now I will select my plane XY and I will create the sketch I will draw a rectangle I will switch to the wireframe and now I will make it symmetric so I will click on symmetricity select this point and this point and our origin point now this is the 96 and this is the 48 for better visibility I will off my origin plane and I will come out of the sketch and I will switch to the flat lines now we will switch to the part workbench click on our sketch click on extrude along dimension we will give 13 and uncheck this create solid and I will say ok so this is the second feature we have made now we will use the boolean operation now we will switch to the isometric view we will select extrude 001 and then extrude and we will slice our part so click here on a boolean operation tab and here you will see options to slide the part click on slice part so you can see that part has been sliced now we can see that our part has been sliced now if you see our model this is the unnecessary phase which we do not require because in our first feature we have uh, made this spy line and we have created our base profile so select on this face and press the delete button to delete it now we will again switch to the isometric view now we will use the rule surface tool to combine this edge with this edge so for this first I will select this edge and this edge and click on ruled surface so once I click on the ruled surface so you can see that uh, a surface has been created between this edge to this edge now we will apply fillet to all four corners so I will select all four corners of my tray and say fillet 2mm and say ok now we will switch to the isometric now we can see that this surface is coming outside at all four corners to fix it select this surface and this surface and click on here connect object so now it's 
looks perfect now we will make a slotted cut on our tray so for this I have switched to the part design workbench now I will select my plane XY and I will create the sketch and now I will switch to the wireframe view now I will click the slot slot radius I want 3.5 So I will be 3.5 center to center distance I want 30 so I will give 30 and midpoint dimension 15 so this 3.5 looks large so I will make it 2.5 yes now it is look good and now I will give one dimension horizontal to constrain this and I will give it a 40 and now to pattern this slot I will create a line and I will make it construction now I will give it a horizontal dimension of a 15 mm and now I will select all the lines now I will click on rectangular array so column I want 5 row I want 1 so let's see click on ok now it is snipping on this point so I will click on my other points so you can see that pattern has been made but here is some conflict so click here and delete the conflict constraint and now we can see that here is a spacing more and here is a less so I will make it 20 20 and here while picking it not pick the right angle so I will make it 180 on figure now it looks good so you will come out of the sketch and I will off my origin plane now I will move to the flat line visibility now we will again switch to the part workbench and we will select our sketch and click on the extrude and the dimension we will give for our extrusion 10 and we will say ok now we will select this our body this connect and then this extrude and we will click on this slice part now you can see that part has been sliced now we do not require these faces so we will simply select it and press delete now we have made overall shape of our tray but this is a, a surface so we will select this face and we will create offset we will offset this surface so click on this offset and we will offset with 1 mm and click on here fill to offset so that the offset area will be filled and click OK 
so you can see that the offset area has been filled but here we are seeing the gap so we will use the ruled face surface to connect this so select this edge and this edge click on the rule surface similarly we will connect all the surface join all the surface and this last one and now switch to the isometric view so this is how we have made the tray in FreeCAD with the help of a surface tool so in this session we have learned so many features of a surface like rule surface, extrude, trimming, slicing apart. So this is all about these sessions. Thank you for watching.